In this how-to, we are going to see how to submit a page to the server when the text box value has changed. So in order to uh, submit the page to the server or fire a server-side event when the text box value has changed, we can specify on text changed event. And along with that, we will have to also specify auto post path is is equal to true. If we will not specify auto post back is equal to true, then even if we have a specified on text change event, the form will not get submitted on the server. This is very frequently you know, done mistakes by the developer. They specify on text change event, but they do not specify auto post back, post back is equal to true, and that's why you know, they face problem. So whenever you are specifying on text change or text change uh, events, make sure that you are also specifying auto post back is equal to true. So now what we have done here is that on text changed event, we have specified text box value changed method that should fire. And in this text box value changed method, we are accessing the text box and we are writing its text to the page. Let's Now let's see this with example here. This is my default. Okay. Now here, uh, this is the text box auto post back equal to true property set, and then on text change property has been set. And let's go to the code behind. In the code behind, in this method, I have written response dot write text box one dot text. Now let's run this page and see. So here is my page, and uh, I'm sorry. Let me let me run it again. So, view in browser, and this is my text box. Now I will write here itfunda.com. As soon as I will press tab, you'll notice that this itfunda.com gets written on at the top of the page. So I'm going to press tab here, and you can see that the the the, 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 the this page has been posted back on the server, and text box value changed. Uh, server side uh, method has fired, and that has written the text box value on the in this how to we are going to see how to specify the width of the text box okay to set the display width of the text box we can set the column property and to set the width in terms of pixel we can set the width property okay I will explain this uh, with the example here in case we set both properties column and the width then the width property takes the precedence now let us see this now here notice that in this particular uh, page I have a text box called txt box 1 whose column uh, is 80 and I have another text box called txt uh, box 2 whose width is 50 and column is 80 now when I will run this page what will happen is the first text box width will be of 80 uh, characters long so that it will uh, we, you will be able to enter 80 characters okay and the second text box width will be only 50 pixel okay it is ha it has nothing to do with the characters because here we have a specified width is equal to 50 and that means that its width should be only 50 pixel wide okay now one more thing you notice here is that despite the fact that I have we have set the column prop uh, property of this text box as 80 this column is not getting affected because in case we specify both width and columns the width property gets the precedence and the column property is ignored okay now let's move on to the next uh, how to how to specify the maximum characters allowed for the text box okay there may be scenario where you want to specify the maximum character to be entered into any text box or password box for that uh, we can we need to set the max length property to the number that we, uh, we want to limit so for example in this text box i have set that this text box 3 should only allow 5 characters into it okay if user will try to enter more than 5 characters that it will not allow let us see this with example here 
I'm going to refresh this page and here is my text box I'm trying to enter 1 2 3 4 5 and after that even if I press I am pressing any key it is not allowing me to enter uh, any character because I have specified its max length is equal to 5 this is this is basically used when you you want to limit the number of characters to be entered by the user remember that this max length property is valid in terms of in case of the text box or password box but not in case of the text area for example here this will this max length property is ignored we will see that later on the next how to uh, is how to make a text box read only or disabled okay in order to make the uh, text box read only we can specify read only property of the text box control as true to make the text uh, in, in that case what will happen is that it will enable the user to place the cursor on the text box but he she will not be able to edit the text box value so let us see here this is my uh, txt read only runner equal to server and read only property is true here now when I will uh, when I will go to this particular text box this is my read only text box I am able to place the um, my, my cursor here but I am not able to modify it even if I am pressing any key on this text box the, the, the text box value is not changing because I have specified is its read only property to true now to disable this the text box we need to set the enabled property to false in this case what will happen is that the text box will be disabled and ev and it even stops the user to place the cursor onto the text box okay so let us see that the second text box uh, in this field set text box 4 has enabled property to false now what it will do is that it will it will completely disable this particular text box and user will not be able to even allow to press to keep in the, the cursor and even its back it, its, its text color will be dimmed so that it will look like it, it has been disabled okay and the next how to is how to display a multi-line text box and specify the height and width of the text box Multi-line text box is basically a text box that that allows you to enter uh, many lines of uh, 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 d data. For example, you can have you know two paragraphs or three paragraphs of data. So, in order to display the multi-line text box, we need to specify text mode property of the te ASP text box uh, to multi-line, and we can specify the rows and column uh, attributes what it will do is that it will basically if you specify a row it will allow you to enter five uh, rows of the text and after that if you try to enter more lines of text then this then one vertical scroll bar appears the column property basically helps you to set the uh, column width in terms of character so here I have written 50 so it will allow you me to write 50 characters into a single line now the next how to is how to limit the maximum number of characters allowed in the multi-line text box there are two ways to do that the first is the server side and that is very easy so uh, for that what we have done is that we have uh, we have a level control we have our text box control whose text box is multi-line that will give a multi-line text box with column equal to 50 and row is 5 and then we have a button uh, on click of the button we have a specified submit data event that will fire this is my submit data event and in this what I have done is that I have first retrieved the text length and if that text length is greater than the max length that is allowed then we will write sorry only 50 characters are, are allowed into the label and if it is not means if it is less than 50 characters then we, uh, we will write the text box value that user has entered okay so let us see this with example here yes now here I am going to write itfunda.com naturally this is less than 50 characters so when I will click submit button it will come to the else block and it will write you have written itfunda.com 
you can see that it is written you have written itfunda.com now let us copy paste multiple times so that it will be more than 50 characters and then when I will click the submit uh, button it will come to the first block because this text is more than 50 characters and it will write sorry only 50 characters are allowed you can see that when I click the submit button and it is asking it is saying sorry only 50 characters are allowed because it is coming into the first if block and it, it is writing that particular message you the second way of limiting the maximum number of character of to the text area is using client side technology and for that I am going to use jQuery here so in this what we have is that um, we have a text box let me go to the source code we have a text box whose multi line whose text mode is multi line correct co columns are 50 and rows is 5 and then I have written client ID mode is equal to static to make sure that when this page renders its ID is not changing okay and then I have a simple HTML level control where I will write that or how many characters are left as and when user will uh, no, press any key it will immediately give the notification to the user that you, you have this many characters left now what I have done is that on the as soon as my page will complete page will load if you are not familiar with jQuery you might face a problem here so what it basically do, does is that when when the whole page will be loaded then it will write that okay how many characters are allowed now my lag, my max length variable of value is 10 so it will simply write 10 characters are allowed 10 characters allowed here into this particular level and I have a specify I have a specified key up event on the text box so I have first found out the text box and then I have uh, attached key up event and in this key up event first I have retrieved the value of the text box so it will give me the current uh, uh, value or current data that has been entered into the text box and I have read and I have taken its length into the text length variable and then I am using the if condition to check if the current text length is greater than max length that is allowed okay so if it is greater than the max length then what I am doing is that I am using the substring method uh, of the JavaScript and I am just limiting the number of characters to the max length so here 10 so even if I will write 20 characters it will just get the first 10 characters of this text box and it will and it and it, and it will keep that value into the text area all uh, remaining characters will be allowed and then it will give so the, the message will be sorry only 10 characters are allowed and if it is not it means that user has just started writing and the length of the uh, data entered into the text box is less than 10 less than this uh, max length very uh, value then it will write into this uh, label that okay max length minus text length characters left now let's see this with example that will be clear here so here what I have is that uh, first as soon as the page has loaded it is writing max character allowed is 10 and because I have not written anything into this particular text box I have 10 characters allowed till now okay so I am allowed to enter 10 characters now I have started writing some characters here so as soon as I will start writing immediately it will give me the notification that only 9 characters are left now so let's keep writing 2 3 4 5 and notice that this particular level is changing 7 8 9 and then 10 now 0 characters are left as soon as I will write one more character then naturally it, it will come into this if block and it will give me an alert sorry only 10 characters are allowed this, the alert, this is the alert that I am getting so in this way you can limit the number of characters allowed into the text area now you may, you may say that we can use the max length property but as I said earlier 
max length property is not applicable for the text area it is only applicable for the normal text box or the password text box so we will not be able to use max length property here in the text in the multi line text box to limit the number of characters allowed now how to avoid text wrapping into the multi line text box okay so uh, now let, let's let's see this example here in this case uh, let me open this in this case if I'm keep writing here if I'm keep writing it here then what is happening is my my data is is getting wrapped and it is automatically coming into the next line even if I have not pressed any enter key it is coming into the next line so it means that it is supporting wrapping okay what if I don't want to support the text wrapping in for the multi area multi line text box so in that case what you need to do is that you have to keep the wrap property to false when you will keep the wrap property to false then what will happen is this text box will not uh, will not support the wrapping mechanism so if I will keep writing into this text box it will that the content the text will not come into the next line but we will get the horizontal line it will keep and it will keep adding now if we, we want to come into the next line then we will have to press enter key then only we will be able to come into the next line